Rupert. It's hi. Nancy. Hi. hi, Nancy. Um, nice to see I, you. It's nice to see you, too. Very nice. Um, I couldn't hear what you said about the last thing your mother said to you when you said you would carry she her in said, your heart forever. No, the last thing, the last words she spoke to me were, God bless my beloved. I kind of just want to sit in that. <laughs> and I have one question about it, which I, it's like I just mostly want to sit in what she said. Oh, I mostly just want to sit in what she said, but I'm also thinking about this question of love. And so in one way you're saying your love is for everybody and everything in this recognition that you share your being with all things. But there's something also very personal in the way that you love your mother and your mother loves you. Yes. Yes, it was a, it was a, a unique expression of love in my life. And was expressed in this unique way. So yes, the form in which this love, this our shared being expressed itself was was very unique. As indeed are, are as indeed are the forms that all instances of love are expressed in. Whether we love our, our mother or our friend or our intimate companion or our child or a stranger or, or th these are all expressions of love, but the, the form in which those that love is expressed is is very different in each of those cases, very unique. It has a particular form, a particular flavour, a particular a, 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 as it was with my mother. But the different qualities, the different flavors, are the different fl flavors of its expression. The love itself is always the same. The sharing of the shared nature of being. So being, love is the nature of being. That's why it's said that love is the nature of God. So that, that there's no, love is like the sun, it never varies in intensity. It, it, it's always the same experience. It can be more or less veiled by feelings, and it has numerous f ways of expressing itself in relationship. But the love itself is always the same. But the flavor of how you experience it uniquely between who you are and who your mother is, yes, is its own unique thing. Absolutely, the way the way the way our shared being, the way shared being is is expressed and shared and communicated and celebrated by two apparent individuals. That, that's unique to, that, that, to every relationship, is a unique expression of the same love. Would you say that that is... Um, I don't know if these words quite make sense, but This true nature that is you and is your mother, but you are this particular incarnation with this particular personality. And your mother is her own incarnation of that same source with her own unique personality shining through both of you as human beings expressing, coming from the same source. Yes. Absolutely, yes. And, and the love we feel in, in friendship, uh, family relations, intimate relationship, uh, relationship with our dogs and cats, uh, relationship with a stranger, the, the love we feel is, is always the same experience. That, the sh it's the shared nature of our being, sh filtering through uh, uh, or expressing itself in relationship. But the love that is being expressed is always the same. It is the shining of being. 
but it expresses it, the way it expresses itself varies in every single relationship. 